Welcome back to Colat, peeps. Carrying on right where we left off. Still going to try and track down this glowing mountain top. I don't know whether it's a volcano or a fiery pit of doom. I'm not quite sure. But we're heading that way if we can. It doesn't look as though we can go this way. Shit. We have to go down and then kind of go left. I'm fixated by that. And when we get there, or... I don't think we can go left. <laughs> Shit. That's not a good start. Uh... <laughs> okay. Let's try and go up as up as we can. I want to get to it. How am I going to get to it? I don't know if I can. I don't even know where I am, for frick's sake. Uh, map. Right, I need to get the hang of this. Where am I? What note did I just find? You see on the map, you've got the notes are now marked. Uh, maybe. I need a uh, you are here mark, is what I need. See, all of the notes that we picked up are on the right-hand side of the map, really. Like, up here, here, here. We've got all this area over here that we've not navigated yet. But I don't quite know where I am. Just going to keep navigating until I find something that's useful. And ideally... Let's put the map down. It's going to come us out. If we can get back to a point on the map where I can then get my bearings. That would be freaking awesome. I'm intrigued by these statues though, a lot of statues. Kind of rock formation. And there's a red glow. That could be... That could be handy. I'm still pretty sure that the sea on the compass means camp. I think. What? For a very long time, I could not come across any trail. The tracks came and went as if someone was playing with me, as if the victims were moving. And as soon as I was almost sure I had seen something and I would find something new behind the next tree, the trail suddenly went calm. I had no idea what was going on. Finally, I reached a small meadow. There, I found a bound journal, as if someone left it there on purpose. The journal belonged to the members of the expedition. They wrote down their thoughts and observations. Note, there were also some obscure entries, probably taken down in the dark, concerning the situation they were in. This could shed some new light on the case. I am attaching the journal to this report. Lovely. We have to control the conduct of the investigation and at a certain point stop the information flow. The facts concerning the incident cannot be made public in any way, shape or form. Okay. So more evidence of the group that we're trying to kind of track down and see what happened to them. Obviously they're dead, but we need to find out what we did happen. In yeah, 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 yeah. Barely accessible rocky notches may lead to interesting places and shortcuts. To gain access to them, you will sometimes have to squeeze through low-lying obstacles or jump off them. Ah! Fucking hell, that made me jump! I thought that was like an object coming at me. Okay! Okay! Okay. Uh, I don't know which way to go, to be honest. <laughs> oh, hang on. If we look at the map, maybe we'll find out where that last note just... Is that where we are? Right in the middle. Is that where we are? I think it might be.
let's head this way and see if we do find camp. Because then I'll know that we're on the right track. In terms of my bearings and where the frickin' hell we are. I wonder. <laughs> Have I finally understood what all this means? Uh, can I go around this way? <laughs> it's not something that I dislike about the game. But just having like no idea about where I am or where I need to go. It is uh it's uneasy. It's putting me on edge. And I wonder if I'm just completely failing, <laughs> which which wouldn't surprise me to be honest. Or if the game is having that effect, and that's that's what its aim is to do. Is this a cave? <gasps> uh oh. I found a cave. Oh shit. Found a cave, peeps. How do I climb up? Can I climb? <laughs> I don't think I can. No, definitely not. But I want to! There's got to be a way. This won't be here for no friggin' reason. Uh oh. Come on, let me do something. Or maybe it's like a shortcut. In terms of coming the other way. I go this way. I'm cool with that. We'll just stumble across some progress. That's what I do. <laughs> Really, the way I want to be going, but we'll give it a shot. How pretty. I haven't caught sight of the fiery demon man, which is a good thing. Ew. Okay, let's do it. Nah. I really have no idea if I should be going this way. Kind of looks familiar. Freaking audio. Oh my god. Hello? <laughs> what I can hear is the wind going through the trees. It's like so loud. Uh oh. Um, yeah, I kind of recall being here. I kind of recall bad things happening. Let's see if we can just get back to camp, get our bearings, and possibly head towards the other side of the map where, hopefully, I'll have some progress and pick up some information. Yes, 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 come on. I 
think I recognise this area too. Do I? Eons. That's how long I spent suspended in nothingness. And then this one time, a pale, dim glow filled it. I felt as if some consciousness started soaking through an orange cloud into my brain, dripping with heavy drops, not letting me pass away nice and peaceful. I fought with myself. I had no strength to open my eyes. And finally, after processing the situation on and on, I realized I have no eyes. You have no eyes? Huh. It'd be really handy if I could get out there. Don't think I can, though. What did that mean? I have no eyes. Is this the other side of that thing that I found? I don't think it is. <laughs> okay. We found a note. The note is good. Okay, let's read it out then. An entry from the testimony of Boris W. A five-year-old boy possibly exposed to the unknown force that caused the death of 12 people at Vladimir 30 Complex. Boris W. I've seen you in my dream. You asked me about the same thing you're asking about right now. The same man was standing behind you. Dr. Grigor Anantovich. Boris, there's no one standing behind me. No one's here. You're wrong, Doctor. This man is asking me to tell you that in the orange light, the world is more beautiful. And ask you to take a look at chamber number 7 in sector 22. How do you know all of this, Boris? Did your father work in our department? No, you son of a bitch. I've seen it with my own eyes. I've seen you taking people to God's eye. I've seen their skin burning and their arms being twisted. I have seen the nightmares that planted into that you planted into their brains. Do you honestly think no one knew about this? Do you think nobody survived? He has shown us. Funky. Okay, so we've got a kid who's just given the doctor a piece of his mind and he knows what's going on. Experiments, huh? <laughs> Ah, uh, uh oh. Oh shit. Oh god. I'm feeling a bit cornered right now. Hi. That made me heat right up. Frickin' hell. Ugh. <laughs> that got me. That got me good. Okay, let's not go that... Let's try again. Is he still going to be there if we go this way? No. It's moved on. That's lovely. What is this place? Orange glow, orange glow, orange glow. What? Do I run into it? Or is that going to kill me? I can hear like a... Sounds like a child... Whimpering. 
crying. I heard a flappy note. Oh, hey. So, is this one of the students? Have we found a student? Is there a note here, or is it just that picture that's flapping? Oh, no, there we go. Oh, my God, Marv! The human being's mind is a curious toy. Consumed by pain and madness. It resists, but defends itself from what can set it free. The path to understanding leads through contradiction. We deny one simple fact. The fact that humans are the real monsters. And as such, we should treat each other. Although I had been deluding myself otherwise for so many years, I have finally figured out my true nature. Remember that in the darkness, you are never alone. There is always someone who awaits your fall. What? The frickin' frickety fuck. Okay. So... So is that... What? It sounds as though that was like somebody who was kind of like either involved in the expedition or tracking the students down. They've kind of... They've gone a bit kind of mad and now they're gonna kill people. So maybe that's what's linking to the deaths of the students. Is that right? That's kind of what it sounded like. Could be completely wrong, of course. Uh oh. Okay, so that really worked out well, Marv. Should we try that again? <laughs> I don't know where we are. Gotta start making some kind of progress. Come on. Hmm. Where does this lead us to? Where can we get out? kind of forcing us this way, but I don't know. It's kind of like we can't get up. Is there another route? Don't go down that way. Uh, that's where we tried to get up. The little uh, face on this bit of wood. Okay. Okay. You know, I think that's where we are. I think. Okay, what we we'll do is head this way and see if we can get some kind of new territory. And uh, whilst I do that... Is that a note I hear? I don't think it was. Yes. Yes. Oh, no! It's in there! I can't get to it! Oh, shit. No. Poop. Okay. Well... Shit. Okay, what we're going to do is end this episode here. We will make progress in the next one. So, I'm still kind of... Not at a loss, but I'm just kind of... Uh, I'm not getting my bearings. I'm not kind of certain of where I need to be going or what I need to be doing. But we're just stumbling across stuff and it's kind of trying to make a bit of sense of the story. So we'll find more notes, progress next time. I hope you've enjoyed the progress. 
I will see you in the next video. So until then, as always, ciao for now. Hey, buddy. Hey! Yes? You're trapped, aren't you? Oh, God, you're ugly. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> you need a makeover. <laughs> I think I just... Where did you go? He uh, should fight. Yeah, I ran out of uh, my monster energy, so now I'm invisible.